Hello, everyone. I hope that you've had a healthy, productive, and successful start of the new semester. For me, it is great to be back home here in Indiana and at Purdue. Since coming back in the middle of December last year, I've had the chance to hear from many of you, either one-on-one -on -one conversations or at the town hall with the students right before the holidays. It is important for us to work together as partners to navigate through the pandemic that started since March last year. And it is one of the best parts of my job to hear from you and work alongside you. We have heard your thoughts, concerns, and suggestions. And that is why we are now putting forward five new resources that we hope you will find it useful to explore. First, we have partnered with Purdue Counseling and Psychological Services, CAPS, to provide dedicated CAPS liaison with the students in the College of Engineering. These liaisons are dedicated to you and your well-being by providing a familiar face as the clear point of contact for CAPS. In the coming semesters, CAPS liaisons will foster a community of wellness by working with students and faculty on well-being education, holding open discussion and town halls, and promoting a variety of mental health resources. We hope you will take time to learn more about these dedicated CAPS liaisons. Second, we're excited to work with Task Human to provide life coaching services with everything from yoga to mindfulness to achieving personal wellness goals. All engineering students have immediate access to this resource at no cost to you, which can help you on your wellness journeys with one-on-one -on -one time with life professional coaches. A third resource is our Engineering Mentorship Network. Learning from peers as a mentee or sharing your experiences as a mentor is a great way to connect and grow through these times and in the future. I encourage you to participate as a mentor or mentee in this new engineering mentor network. Fourth, I encourage you to deploy your engineering curiosity to explore the science of well-being. Through a series of short modules offered by Purdue's Steps to Leaps program, one of the recent discoveries of the science of well-being is that regularly engaging in activities such as gratitude and random acts of kindness have a measurable effect on well-being and happiness. And it might even help you with your final exam in a course, say, like thermodynamics. Fifth, I hope to draw your attention to be on the lookout for even more wellness-related activities, including the Purdue Student Government's Mental Health Awareness Week, March 1st through 5th. You hear more soon about opportunities for student organizations to apply for funding calls to host well-being events, to bring our community together, and to further raise awareness of our on-campus resources. And I want you to know that your voices matter a lot. I will have office hours, town hall meetings, and please feel free to email me to set up a time and talk with me anytime you want. Thank you again for everything that you do in the Protect Purdue Pledge. Stay healthy, stay focused, stay connected. Mask up and boil up.